patient. So they started with a 10 to 15 patient, they started with a clinical trial, they tested on that number of uh, patients, recorded, and then they identified there was no side effect during the process of the trials, and then they increased it to minimum 100 to 200 patients. So that becomes the phase 2 trials, and then it moves into phase 3 of clinical trials, which is minimum 1000 plus patients. So they start with 1000 plus patients, and then it has been recorded, and then it comes into the market, which is the phase 4. The phase 4 is called as a, it's a final uh, phase where it comes into the market and it's been recorded. So the entire process derived, do we go in for a direct process? There are, there is a process of a drug discovery and molecular identification. With the discovery of a new molecule, with the process of drugs discovery method. So you have to first go in, how does this entire process comes? Before a drug comes into a market, what is the procedure that happens? Molecule has to be identified. We have a diabetic drug and uh, we need to uh, identify a new molecule which is going to succumb to diabetes. So you have the molecular identification, the molecular manipulation. So first let us see, um, can I have a mark? The mark is different. Yeah, I need a 